Good morning. Thank you for coming to my yarn studio. Today we're going to learn how to make this cute little dog bandana. And this bandana will work for any size dog. Lay down Rosie. What you're going to need is your H hook. You're going to need a yarn needle to weave in those ends. Scissors of course to cut off those ends and two different colors of worsted weight yarn. I'm using Red Heart with Love, which is one of my favorite yarns. All right, let's get started. With your first color, oh, by the way, this free pattern is on my blog and I'll put that in the comments for you so you can find it. The first thing that you're going to do is chain 33 chains. Now this pattern is completely adjustable so for each inch, uh, you can add four chains or you can subtract four chains. And that will make it adjustable so you can make it bigger or smaller. The first thing you're going to do, of course, like I said, is chain 33. Then you're going to make your first double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And those first three chains will be your first double crochet and then you crochet in the next uh, double crochet in the next two chains. You're going to skip one, chain one, and then three more double crochets, one in each of the next three, chain one, skip one, and you're going to do this all across. And for this pattern, as written, you'll get nine, excuse me, you will get eight clusters. Okay, so that's row, uh, your chain, and row one. Okay. <clears throat> For row two, you're going to chain one, and that chain one is a turning chain, does not count as a stitch, it just helps it turn and lay flat. So for row two, you're going to put three double crochets in that first chain one space. One, two, and three. Chain one. Then put three double crochets <clears throat> in the next chain one space. And we're going to do this all the way across. Now while I'm doing this, I want to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click that little thing up there that says subscribe because we have lots of plans for this YouTube channel. We're going to be doing um, going through all of our patterns on our blog and try to do tutorials to help you understand the pattern. And if you have any questions, to try to answer those questions. And if you do, when you're on the blog, there's a contact tab at the top. Just click that contact tab. It'll open up right into my email. You can uh, ask your question, and I'll do my best to get back with you to answer that question. But it also is a way for me to see what questions people have so I can make a YouTube channel. Or I mean... <laughs> A YouTube video of it. Our YouTube channel is brand new. We only have a few videos right now, but that's what our goal is, is to make YouTube tutorials, video tutorials of our patterns and answer questions. It's a way for you to connect with me to kind of put a face with Posh Pooch Designs. And that's kind of, I mean, and that's my goal. That's what I want to do. So I've got three double crochets in this last chain one space. And then I'm going to chain one. And as you can see, here's the top. Let me pull my hook out. Here's the top row. We had eight clusters. Now in our next row, row two, we only have seven clusters. And this, and this is what we'll do each row. And it will decrease each row. And then you'll get this. This is, let's see, eight rows. Decrease down to one cluster. Something that's one of, uh, to help you understand, something that I'm going to show you. That last uh, two, okay, let's try this again. That last chain one space with three double crochets in it, you're going to need to join that. Let me just get this a little closer for you to the second double crochet of the previous row of this cluster right here and just connect that with a slip stitch and then pull that because it'll give you a nice rounded edge. 
Okay, I'm going to pull that to the back. And then you're done. And you'll need to use your needle, of course, to weave that end in. And I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so we got the little bandana part done. Now we need to do the ties and the trim. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take our second color. And I'm using this blue, also Red Heart with Love. Like I said, it is one of my favorite yarns to use because it's soft, it's durable, it's washable, it's perfect for pets. All right. Oh, it holds its shape really well, too. So for the ties and the trim, you're going to chain 20, which I have ready right here. And then you're going to attach that with a single crochet to the first double crochet. Now, it doesn't matter which side is your front. It doesn't matter because it's pretty reversible. Just decide. Um, and then you're going to put a single crochet in each stitch across, which means you're going to put a single crochet in the top of each double crochet, and then you're going to put a single crochet in that chain one space. And then you're going to single crochet completely across. And a, one really cool thing about these bandanas is you can make them for all the holidays. Christmas red, St. Patrick's Day green, birthdays, put a little cupcake applique, uh, clover appliques, I mean, any color. Make it red, white, and blue. I mean, you don't have to make it two colors. You can make it any colors you want. You can use variegated yarn. And um, like I said earlier at the beginning, these will work for any size dog, pet, and they're a great way to add a little festiveness. You know, you're going to have a, a party at your house. Put a little fun bandana, use sparkle yarn or, or those fun fur yarns. Any of them will actually work. Even cotton works great if you live in hot climate, but you want, want it not to be so hot. Make it out of cotton. One thing, though, cotton does, does shrink a little bit, so keep that in mind if you're going to make it out of cotton. The only other warning I want to give you about bandanas or anything with dogs is it's really a good idea not to put buttons on there because a lot of buttons are right about the same size as your dog throat. And dogs are chewers, and they might bite that off and swallow it. Okay, so now we've made our tie, we've single crocheted across the top, and then we're going to chain 21. The first chain was 20, and this one is 21. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, oh, one more for 21. And the reason we do that is because we're going to be turning and single crocheting back up. And so you're going to skip the first one and then the second chain from the hook, you're going to start single crocheting across. Okay. And what you'll get, here's one I did in blue for Maximo. You uh, chain 20, then you single crochet across the top, then we chain 21. Then we turned, single crochet across this chain, single crochet across the top again, and then single crochet across that last chain, and then tie off, use your yarn needle, and weave in your end. And that's the end of it. One thing that you do remember is don't make your ties too long because they get caught in their toes. They get caught in their toenails. So what I do is I just tie a little, I guess it's called a square knot. In the in the uh, back of the you know the tie of the bandana, and then I just slip them on and off, and um, you can see the tie's not too long. There's your bandana, and, and that's it. That's the bandana. Isn't it cute? And like I said, you can make them any size by adding those four chains. It, it, this one fits a 10-inch dog neck, approximately. Now remember, one's tension's different. Everyone's gauge is different, so you have to kind of go by what you do. But um, they are stretchy, adjustable, and so you want it longer, you just, you know, add more, make it longer. I mean, it's really simple to adjust. And, that, and that's it. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel today. And like I said, please feel free to subscribe to our channel as well as check out that blog because you can print off the pattern and then have it with you while you watch the video. Well, thank you.